Okay. Got to get my ah. Gotta get my timer working here first, so I don't go over my ten minutes because I tend to ramble. Okay. This is my response to saturating films, Cody. What I think about what you said about climbing the social ladder and you know whatnot, because you went into other issues as well. I just want to say that you're right. We can't change the world and we can't change the planet. But what I have to say is that we can change ourselves. And to me, that's what's most vital. You know, I believe in the Bible. You don't. I can't change that about you. But according to the Bible and to God's law, which is Ten Commandments. We are all adulterers, murderers, liars, thieves. Well, personally, I may not have went and murdered somebody. I've thought about it. Does that not make me just as bad? Sure, I think it does. You know, it may not have the same consequences as actually doing it. But it's a negative energy, is it not? When when somebody has negative thoughts, especially on a daily basis, and that person is in a group within, we'll just say five people, okay? So that, I guess that would make them this individual the sixth, okay? But he's got five people in a room with him. And he has all this negative energy, negative thoughts, whatever, you know, keeps him down, maybe keeps him depressed or whatever. Something's chemical, something need medicated, can't change. But however, these five people maybe have a different way of thinking, maybe have some negative thoughts, but try not to have them and, you know, try to just put them out of their mind, you know, like, like I would do. Eventually, that person with that, that, that has all the negative energy, negative thoughts, whether they go out and do it or not, but they debate these things in their head, them five people are going to get tired of being around that negativity because it's an aura of negative energy. You can sense negative energy from people. And so, I think a person just needs to come to realize that, hey, while I cannot change the world and I cannot change everything that happens around me, I can certainly change what happens in me. And you can offer value to your surroundings. I mean, everything is a choice, you know, and... You can't directly blame media for us going out and buying McDonald's, okay? You can flip it because the media would have nothing to sell if we didn't go out and buy McDonald's. If everybody rode a bicycle for a week, gas prices may go down, may not. But do you really think people are going to stop buying gas? No, because there's people out there that can afford it. They know that. Okay? They, as in, I guess, the people that set the prices for gas. You know, I, I don't really know entirely how the whole system works. But I do know that we all take a part in this world as a whole. And we all equally have our share of blame, rather directly or indirectly, because we're all a part of it. You know, we all vote for a president that stands for this or doesn't stand for that, or we, we vote for abortion to be legal in our state or gay marriage to be in our state or for, you know religion to be in our schools or not to be in our schools or you know whatever we add things to the equation we take things from the equation 
we're all to blame because we all have the freedom to do these things, to make these choices. You know, we we have the freedom to murder. It just has legal consequences. We have the freedom to tell a lie that can be created into a rumor and be gossiped about and possibly destroy somebody's life, reputation. We have the ability to have sex with a married man's wife or whatever. We all have that freedom and we can get that wife pregnant and then the next thing you know, that wife raises that child letting the husband think that it's his baby. Wow, you know, we all have taken part and still take part in the, all this chaos that goes on in the world. You can turn off your television and leave it off for an entire week and somebody's thought process is still going to encourage them and influence them to do things with illegal consequences. You know, there are mental sicknesses out there. People who can't help themselves. But then there are people out there who can. But do it anyway because it gets them off or gets them quick self-gratification. Whatever. You know, it just... I guess the thing that just irritates me is that sometimes I get the impression that that you target a certain group or a certain whatever. Sometimes I don't know what you mean when you say like, well, they this they they want to paint this pretty picture that everything is going to be okay. Well. Yeah, if they do that, yeah, it's because they're trying to nullify somebody and make them feel better. Yeah, when everything probably is not going to be okay. Yeah, sugar coating, sugar candy coating things, whatever, doesn't help anything because it doesn't erase the reality of what's really going on and what's really going to happen. Okay, so I limit that's wrong. Okay, but like say for instance. If my daughter falls down the stairs and she breaks her leg or whatever, okay, my reaction would be like, you know, this sucks or whatever, you know, go ahead and cry, you know, because crying is cool with me. It's an emotion. But, you know, it will be okay. Your leg's not going to be broken forever. But, however, I could say that falsely. I may not know she has osteoporosis until I take her to the hospital, and that broken leg may not be okay. Everybody does them sort of things because it's human nature. You know, just like I don't agree with what you did out of your human nature to exploit somebody and to want to publicly humiliate somebody. I think that's wrong. I don't care what the other person may or may not have done to you. It's all about what are we as a person individually inside of ourselves willing to do to contribute to this world to at least make our immediate surroundings a better place. Sadly for the internet, we can expand our horizons or our surroundings, whatever, across the country. And we can indirectly still affect somebody else's life through wires, through the telephone even. I think it's important to be careful in what we say, how we represent ourselves. It's good to be true to yourself, but it's also good to know who you really are and who you really want to become and how you really want to impact your surroundings. You may not care 
how your life affects other people. To me, that's narrow thinking. Because I know I care how my best friend views me, how my mother views me, how my children view me. You know, it's not because... Shoot. I don't want to paint a pretty picture for anybody. But I want them to see the real me.